Okay. We're here with Derek. Um, can you say it? Dankowitz. We're here with Derek Dankowitz, who's playing Todd of the Righteous Regiment, one of the, would you say, villains of the film? I mean, that's an extreme word. Yeah, I wouldn't say villains. Um, I am, I do kind of do Clayton's dirty work, but I don't see either of them as generally bad people. Yeah. I just, um, people who have been guided down a path of... Uh, Perversity. Yeah, something like that. How is production going for you so far, in general? Production's going great. It's been a, it's been a ton of fun. Everyone here is super nice. Um, I've, I've really enjoyed living on the campsite with everyone, eating all my meals with everyone, really getting to know everyone, forming those relationships that yeah. will translate into the film. I totally agree. By the way, as a side note, you're very handsome. Thank you. You're not bad as well. Oh, thank you. How old are you? I'm 19. How old do you think I am? Um, 36. Not even close. Can you give me an example of a real life situation you've used while developing the background of a character you've played and how it went? Can you say that one more time so I know exactly what you're asking? Give me an example of a real life situation you've used. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry about that. You okay? I asked the questions. All right. Give me an example of a real life situation you've used while developing the background of a character you've played and how far it went. Um, all right, well, my character, Todd, is a very insecure person, so I've tapped into a lot of the insecurities that I have in, my, in myself, and I bring that out, and sometimes I lash out at <laughs> Keep going. Uh, well, sometimes I, um, I lash out at people as a result of these insecurities. Um, so I'm really channeling my insecurities and heightening them so that when, I, um, when I'm in the scene, having those insecurities, the reason why I'm lashing out is to cover up the fact that I'm insecure. Because I am insecure about myself as Derek Dumkowitz, but as Todd Swift, I'm Why would I'm you be insecure, much insecure, you're a handsome 19 year old? It's just Co natural. starring in a movie. Well, thank you, but I mean, everybody has insecurities. It's a natural part of life. So when I'm Todd Swift, I just heighten all of them. And then I use them to lash out at people. S Todd Swift? Yeah. I don't like you. You don't like Todd Swift or you don't like Derek Dumkowitz? Todd Swift. I can understand that. But I like Derek. Oh, thank you. How, Derek, how does this compare to your performance in Macbeth? Um, well, it's, it's unbelievably different. Uh, Macbeth had a whole other world of challenges. Um, because Shakespeare is, is can practically you do another a little, language. Can you do a little bit for us? For me. All right. Um, yeah, take your time and she should have died hereafter. There would have been a time for such a word. Tomorrow. And Wait, belt tomorrow. it out, belt it out here. And 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 who are you talking to? Uh, in the scene, um, Macbeth just. It, He's trying to defend his castle, mm -hmm. and he has already murdered plenty of people. Um, so it's nearing the end of the play, and he finds out that his, that his wife has killed herself, and so he's just alone. He no longer has anything to fight for, and it's uh, the monologue is a reflection of the uselessness of life and how um, pathetic everything is. Okay, your wife has just killed herself. Yeah. Go. Give it to him. All right, I got. I got. I mean, I got to take a second. But... 
She should have died hereafter. There would have been a time for such a word. Tomorrow. And tomorrow. And tomorrow. Creeps in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time. Mm. Mm. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Holy cow. You're welcome. Holy cow. <sighs> um, I think we're having lunch soon, bro. Oh yeah, my so god! There's a whole other half to that monologue, um, and it's of course it would be a lot better if I'm uh, on the stage doing it. That way I can feel out the audience and really have um, something to play off of. That was but good. Thank you. You moved me. Thank you. I've been working on that monologue for over a year. <sighs> just that monologue. It's a challenge. Can you give me the first line of that again? Just in general English? Um, she should have died hereafter. There would have been a time for such a word. Now that can be translated in many like, ways. She sh should have died. So you can say that again? She should have died hereafter. Mm -hmm. There would have been a time for such a word. And there's a lot of different translations. She should have died hereafter. <laughs> What's the next line? There would have been a time for such a word. <laughs> she should have died hereafter. <laughs> it would have been time for such a word. <laughs> oh. In one of your scenes, you look like you're really choking Joey Morgan. Can you elaborate on that? <clears throat> well, I wasn't actually choking him. How would you like to be choked? I guess a headlock would be most comfortable. I don't really think there's a way you'd want to be choked. Can we get him de-miked? Can we get him de-miked? And uh, just... You want me to take this off? Thank you. Yeah, I um, You can go get lunch. All right. Uh, I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, sir. See you guys. See you lunch. Which way is lunch? Is it... Oh, you can go around that way. All right. I don't know where we are. 